Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore on the Mysterious JG, and I found the save slot that we should have been using already. Uh, so we're at the same exact place we were with left off last time. We weren't there in that save slot, but I navigated us to there. And the big difference is, as you've already noticed, I've got a level 3 bone crusher. That's actually as high as it goes. I thought the weapons went all the way up to 10. The spells do. Excuse me, I don't think the weapons do. So even though the first time I got a new sword, I was super irritated that it was at level 1. Um, it's not quite as much effort to level up the weapons as I remember. Our uh, good buddy has his attack skill leveled up to 3, and since uh, Tina Medina... Tina Medea, who despite the name I'm considering is supposed to be a boy dog, I guess Tina Medea could be a girl. I won't make any, uh, I won't use the word that people hilariously like to use. It is the correct, correct word for a female dog, but uh, yeah, Tina, she could be our, our uh, loyal female dog. But her uh, attack is leveled up as it's going to get. But here's the other thing now. We can set the level of aggression of our characters when we're not controlling them. We can also select what charge we want them to go up to. So I'll show you what I mean. Now previously all I could do is let it charge up to 100 and then attack. But now I can charge once, twice, and that's it. It's three times the lady right there. So I guess this is considered level 3 charge. When you do it at 1, you wait for it to reach 100. When you do it for 2, you wait for it to charge once. And you do it to 3, you wait for it to charge once. And I get a more involved attack, and I got two pistols. Can't promise you we picked up all the same treasure chests that we got on screen, but it doesn't really matter. We're also at a higher level now. So the bug muck shouldn't be much of a threat to us. Not that it was a huge issue before. Mostly we're trying to navigate our way around and figure out where we're supposed to be going. Oh, good job, Tina. Was it Tia or Tina? I think it was Tina. Either way, now that we've loaded state, our dog is named whatever it was named before. But yeah, those things are a lot less dangerous when you can throw down a powered up attack. Or miss a powered up attack, as I just did. Four parts water. I think our alchemy spells are still the same. And if they're not, that means. Okay, they are. If they're not, it means I chose the wrong state because you missed us acquiring a spell. I don't want that to happen. So you can see a mid charge attack there. Doesn't seem there's too much more I can do over here. I think it might be time to make my way back to the left and then down, or west and south. Oh, I didn't even have to hit him in the head. Oh, never mind. This isn't helping at all. But lost in the muck here. Doesn't seem I'm allowed to go that way. I can go over this way. I missed this somehow. I think it did some damage. Sometimes you connect and do zero damage, but you still knock them back, which is... Yeah. It's just, the combat in this game irritates me. I've never been good at figuring out when you're actually going to connect with anything. And blocking is not something that you control with button pressing either. It's just, if an enemy attacks you and you're not already doing something, you may or may not block. So this will get significantly less dangerous for us when we learn an actual alchemy that heals. But we don't know one yet. So we just got a deal. Alrighty. Thank you. 
smell something, buddy. I am... Okay, oil. He found oil and he was kind of sniffing... Facing away from where it was. Sure. But there's some kind of, like, super scary... Bone cave that we can go into. That's gotta be fun, right? Bone slide is ready. So basically, in this little mini dungeon, we're going to be hunting for paths that will not break beneath us because we keep we are going to continue to get stranded on uh, areas where we have to slide back down to the beginning of the zone oh wow I got knocked back by that guy enemies don't respawn though as long as we don't leave and re-enter the area so we can, we can make it so that each trip through is fairly academic. Oh, come on. I suppose I could be using these alchemies even if I'm not intending to level them up in the long term. Sometimes not even charging, just hitting some of these lesser attacks is fine. Missing lesser attacks is not that useful. See, for example, what I just did there. Get up fairly high here. May have missed a lot of treasures. Oh, never mind. No, we found a path that's not going to work. Thank you, dog. The bounty hunter. If we can get him to strike, I'll get knocked back and won't have a chance to attack. It'd be perfect. Well, I found some oil in my missed attack. That was a great... I could be using alchemy. Now I'm like in critical condition. That's great. We have maximum petals, you're only allowed to carry six. I think that's also left over from Secret of Mana, isn't it? I did uh, level up um, before deciding it wasn't worth it anymore. I did level up Flash a bit, but I haven't used the Hardball spell at all. Maybe I'll use the Hardball sp hard spell on this guy. Let's see. It doesn't use any of the same ingredients as Flash, so I won't be preventing myself from using flash later. But yeah, see, the 17 damage, and I can only do a few of them before I have to buy more ingredients, so you see how great that is. Still, it killed him. Petal didn't even get me close to full hit points either. So when you're just walking around, there's no particular reason not to be charging up an attack. Even if I can't hit them to save my life! I thought before I got away with not hitting it right on the head. I reached level 11, so that, that makes up to some extent for having lost all those hit points. But, looks like we're heading back to the beginning.
So eventually we will, by process of elimination, find a path that can take you all the way to the end of the zone. Yeah, I knew I wasn't over here at this point, I'm just trying to uh, find all the false paths to get them off the map. Yeah. Oh shoot, when this video is over I need to... Dryer just finished its cycle, so now I got shirts getting wrinkly. So look at the dog. The dog's got a really comical, goofy face. It's funny. I don't know if I'm providing the most insightful commentary ever. At this point, just trying to navigate through the mess of bones and skulls. It's like being in the land of bones. Skulls. Oh, I wasn't actually cut off then. I shouldn't have. Okay, now I'm cut off. Oh, there's a little bone shape that you can see that is an official entry point onto the slide down. So, we're real close. Matter of fact, we can't back out now. This is it. Please let me go. Something, something. Let me know. Now, these guys can also drop treasure, but rather than dropping little uh, petals looking things, they just drop big piles of goop. Oh, come on! I charged up this big-ass attack and it whiffed. Can't carry any more pedals. Oh, I must have picked one. I thought I, I remember using one. I guess I... Oh, let's get some use out of this. It's not like we're going to come all the way back here just to get that pedal. So we'll top off and then... Uh... Oh, that gave us 40. Okay, I think that's what they. I think that's what they do. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the actual path to progress. So let's go see. Oh, actually, I can already tell. If you go out that way, you get nothing. I was thinking we didn't take the top left path, but um, you could actually tell it doesn't go anywhere. So we won't bother. We will continue our righteous quest to find Strongheart. He's decided to come out into this bone palace. And here we get to an area that we previously couldn't find our path to before. And we got a biscuit. Now we can add it to our tin of biscuits. All paths lead to here. And, uh-oh. Oh, I remember you from the intro scene. So there's a couple of different ways to handle this fight. I should probably save state just in case. Uh, just so I can explore different ways of doing it. But I'm not really ter terribly worried about this. We've, uh, with the off-camera leveling I've done, we're more than prepared for this fight, other than the fact that I didn't buy lots and lots of alchemy ingredients. Um, but if you use alchemy, it's a good way to 
figure out what your targets are. So there's maggots, so you can hit multiple maggots. There's a right claw, a left claw, and Thrax's heart. Well, Thrax's heart is what we're going to have to destroy, folks. The maggots will continue to respawn throughout the fight. You can destroy Max's heart with uh, alchemy because it's currently blocked off. We can't we can't just navigate to it, or you do very little damage if you attack it through through there. We can also get rid of its uh, arms, which gives us extra experience, I think. Thought it did. I know they're destructible. But yeah, this this flash is leveled up to three, so that's why it's doing a lot more damage than uh but I believe you get you get extra experience points for getting rid of the claws, but it's not required. Oh, and you'll see a little path opened up to um to the heart. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, it uses, and it has its own magic, Acid Rain, which hurts. Oh, be careful of that. The guys do sometimes drop petals. Oh, I should have realized that's what I was going to drop and that I hadn't used any yet. So that was my mistake. But this is our first boss fight, folks. What do you think? It's a pretty cool looking boss. It, it's uh, featured in the uh, cover art of the, uh, the actual SNES game packaging. And it's Thrax. So he's got a name. That's cool. Don't know that he has a backstory of any kind, but... So every so often it does this, like, loud roar, and then you it opens up its chest cavity, and you can get in there waiting for that to happen. Now that I've got... Oh, acid rain is going to mess up my charge, I think. No, no, it doesn't. Well, if you're not going to let me in there, I'll just use flash on you. I don't know if that'll be enough. Although now we've got... Brief open. Yeah, see, you, you get a brief opening to go in there and attack him when he does this little ah thing. And then that's the only way to really do any damage. So I'm just kind of hanging around with the full uh, charge, waiting for it to happen. The kid gets in trouble a lot faster than the dog does. I think that's a result of me sucking. Maybe you can't defend very well when you're going around with a charged weapon attack that you're not using. I feel like I should have used uh, those flashes on the heart rather than the arms. Wanted to show that the arms could be destroyed. It's gonna see it keeps opening up and I don't have time to actually get in there. I guess you have to run in there. Oh we got plenty of oh that's a talon. Never mind. So I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be, because I'm trying to showcase that you can destroy the arms, but it's not really necessary at all to do that. Really, with an even slightly leveled up alchemy spell, you can just use that on the heart and you should win. Alright, I mean, come on, I was right there! Because 
these guys will spawn infinitely. Oh, and it knocks you all the way back out. Not fair. If only I could buy more alchemy ingredients in the middle of the fight. Dude, acid rain is the most dangerous attack it has. We'll get to use that attack too later. I guess you do some damage to it even through its ribcage, but... There, I thought I'd won. Oh, the dog is in there! Hit it in the chest, man! Come on! The dog is refusing to. I guess I could switch to the dog. I'll switch to the kid now. Yeah, that's what I should have. Like, the dog got stuck in there. I should have switched to the dog right away. Do I have enough petals? I mean, I get petals from the, the enemies occasionally, but I'm making a bit of a hash of this. I guess a little weak hit on the ribs will open them up, and then a stronger attack, once it lets you win, is the thing to do. I noticed the uh, treasure, so I decided to go pick it up when I should have kept up the attack. No, we could have won this battle a long time ago if I just stuck with uh, not trying to destroy its arms and used uh, all my alchemy on the... Um, There you go. So the, I guess the real strategy is weak little hits on the ribs to open them up, and then get in there and do a charged attack on the heart. But we won. And that's what matters. And the tyranny of Thrax, the big bug guy, is ended. I don't even do like a victory pose, and I know he has one when he acquires... Oh, there it is. When he acquires a weapon, he does a victory pose. So he defeats a boss, we get this cool music. Then he gets the Spider Claw, which is our first axe. Let me ask you a question, Tony. Tony, Tony, let me ask you a question. And with the axe, well, we could just walk out of the room. But we're supposed to slash at this thing. Find out that it's a ninja who's been embedded in demonic... Oh, no, it's it's uh, probably uh, Strongheart or whatever his name is. Although, if you uh, followed my Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 LP all the way through the end, you do remember that there were, um, like, postules in this kind of demon body that when you hit them, a uh, ninja sprung out. You are a brave adventurer indeed. Thank you for saving me. I am Strongheart from the village of Fire Eyes. Before she showed up, it was called the village of Strongheart, but I'm not angry. I'm a member in good standing of the Nobilian Order of Alchemists. I'm Ray Chesney, and this is my dog, Tina Medina. He hasn't been himself lately, so I guess uh, it's not a sheep. I'm very happy to meet you both. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. If you didn't come along and save me, I would have been eaten alive. Eaten alive. Eaten alive. God! Please take this gift with my thanks. Receive 10 wax and 10 oil. Great. Good luck, Ray Chesney. What do you think, boy? Tina, boy. And so we find the rear exit, except that we can't go back in. And we have a new weapon to level up, because it's at level 1. This made sense to me when I knew it was an axe, we'd never used an axe before. I didn't get pissed off about the weapon system until I got my second sword and found out that it was, like, at zero. 
and that since it was more powerful than the bone, I would never be using the bone again, and it felt silly for having leveled it up. Although it's useful against Thrax. So now we get up to this screen, which we have never been to before. Except that we have! This is the place where I grinded against these weird, uh, fluorescent pink turtle shell guys. But now we're up above, to a place we couldn't get to before. Oh, hello. There's a little secret zone. Hey, buddy. We found your little secret zone. Well, it looks like you've been through a lot. There are a lot of bugs and baddies out there. They are probably giving you a hard time. This guy has the best ingredient prices in this section of the game, so I was coming here a lot off-screen to buy alchemy ingredients. You're telling me? Yes, I am. Here's something that should help you out in the sand, tar, and lava. It's the formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts water and one part ash, and you've got you'll have a potent concoction. And according to the fact, or the uh, walkthrough, or not the walkthrough, um, I haven't been using it as a walkthrough, merely as a reference point for which alchemy is to use. But according to the uh, wiki, acid rain is one of the first alchemies that you'll want to level up to level nine, because other than the fact that it, it uses up a lot of water, and water is an ingredient in a lot of other useful spells, that's the only downside to the spell because it stays useful until pretty much close to the end of the game if you have it leveled up. Would you like to purchase the ingredients? Well, let's just see how much they cost. So clay for 30, wax for 80, crystal for 60, water for 20. So water is cheap. It's just that since other spells use it, you'll find if you you'll find yourself having to go back and visit alchemy merchants a lot. For place of astrophy. Let me record your progress. See you later. We can get some ash. We can get more water. And we can fight our way back to town because... Oh, this is the place that had all the, pit, the sand pit traps. So we're up on a ledge above that. And if we keep going... We find ourselves in a little zone that we couldn't clear out before because the spider claw chops down um, like bushes and stuff. But this is the screen where I was doing most of my off-screening very early on to get levels and talons and to level up the bones. But in fact, now, we can also slice through these in order to find out that there's a bunch of plants up here, and not much else. There is a way out to the north. It leads to a mysterious screen which doesn't seem to help us right now. Perhaps, later, we'll figure out what's going on here. Because it looks like there's like a well or something, but we can't really do anything with it. But that's it. Chop down some foliage, keep moving, and we'll find ourselves back at Fire Eyes Village. Come on, Tina Medea, let's go talk to Fire Eyes. I think that's a pretty good idea, Ray Chesney, but I think it would be an even better video. A better idea if I called it a video. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, we've rescued Strong, uh, uh, Strong Heart, as instructed by Fire Eyes, much to the chagrin of Drax. When we come back next time, we'll take on, you know, Kolos? I don't know. I'm sure that other crazily named characters will appear. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you join me next time as we continue the story of Secret